Age of Heroes beta actually got released a couple of days early, so you wanted me to test it, and here we are. Some of the things I will be looking into today are the living settlements with the crafter thralls now being functional NPCs, all new functionalities in crafting benches and for thralls throughout different stations. We'll check out how they get about our encampments and whatnot. And I'll also be going into some of the new companions missions with Lufe and Freya. I'll be ending up doing a full dedicated guide, but we'll definitely be sussing that out a little bit in here. Or rather, I'll probably do a full dedicated video and then a guide once we've actually figured things out and it's come to, yeah. And they've added jailers and cages across the land. So that's really cool. We get to have different interactions on the exiled lands than what we are used to. And the bars have changed a little bit with the barkeeps. We can now attack dudes and they'll go away, which is pretty cool. You can refresh your bars a lot easier now. And they've reverted one of their very silly changes to one farming aspect that we will go into a little bit later, but I'm sure a lot of you are going to be super excited about that change. There's a couple of other things here and there that I'm sure we will discover. So I reckon we have a little bit look around at some of my settlements first and see what these guys are doing. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot built on the test lives, but there is some stuff going on. Currently, there's a there's a bear guarding my bench, which seems a little bit odd. Can I interact with him and make him maybe not that? Okay. Well, I do have an improved alchemist bench here and the alchemist. So we'll, I guess, pop him down and see how that works. Needs to be placed in the world first, just like the fighters. That is a little bit always confusing. And do I even have to move him? Or will he just like automatically come available here? Oh, that is kind of cool. And that opens up these parts of the bench. I think something else that's really worth checking whether they um, fixed their folly is with no sorting. Whether if I change it to heaviest first and then back to no sorting. Oh, they didn't. That sucks. Oh well, we can live in hope that it will change by actual release date. Oh, and I never even considered with um a Taskmaster how that was going to work. I suppose that's going to be pretty handy. And now can I move and guard him to this spot? But I don't want to place him on there. Ah, okay, he does just like instantly go over there. And that's cool. It now shows you exactly what everyone has to offer with their little different statuses. So this is a driver, so he gives these plus extra concussive damage. I guess there's a cook here. Yes. Let's place him down in the world and see if I can't... Yeah, he placed in there a bit better. I think he's probably still going to move around. Are we going to keep this weird shadow of them? Yeah, if you didn't know, you can actually put cooks in there and they'll do crafting speed. I've definitely mentioned that in a video before. It's cool. So I wonder if I put this guy out, if he will then become an option. No, he's just now a guy. So definitely be very careful with placing out dudes. It seems like you don't really need more than one guy at a time. I can place my cup. Oh, nope, can't do that. He's just automatically going over there. We'll have a weird ghost of him. I have no idea where my blacksmith is. It will be interesting to see how smelters work also. Oh, he's automatically going there. We're just going to get double guy, I guess. I wonder if it changes once I leave. And a big concern of mine is whether they're going to be opening doors willy-nilly because that could be kind of crazy. So we need to figure out how to get them to potentially stay in one spot. And we have a dancer in there. We should place them and see how they go. Oh, that's nice. My Taskmaster is over here. Doesn't look like it. So I suppose it isn't too bad with like your followers if it's going to do multiple benches, I guess. So I currently have a lot of followers out. So we'll have a little look at John the Tinkerer, for instance, he's got some alright stats, but I don't think he will do very good at the, a fighter. But it does mean that you can also change up what they're wearing and potentially get some weapons and stuff off them. And I'm assuming that means that this guy, yeah, he's going to be wearing a whole set of Azura armor. So that's now a really decent way to farm up actual whole sets of full armor because usually its durability is quite down. But alas, he has a shitty weapon. It does also mean that you gotta go around and uh, make sure some of these guys have a little bit better stuff on them. Yeah. And it does look like you can change their tactics and stuff for the most part, but I don't think you can actually level them. Or you won't be able to level them when it comes out. I think that's what they were going for. Find something to kill quickly. He is trying to run home and do some crafting, which is pretty funny. Let's kill a kudo. Did that do anything? 
Oh, they also change. So, like, he says defend when attacked and stuff like that. And I'm not 100 if that will say it to, like, enemies or if it's just a you thing so you can identify what they're doing. Yeah, they don't seem to level up currently, which was to be expected because they did say that and there's a nice thing, but it does mean that you do want to focus on slightly higher grade crafters now. A tier 4 is no longer just a tier 4. As you can see, our Azura guys don't have a great deal of health, so that that could suck for them. Definitely something to consider and definitely take advantage of getting some of those crafters that you can get currently from the Catan caravans. From hunting sorcerer's skulls. I'm gonna place a couple of beds around and see if uh, any of them take advantage of that. No idea where my other spawn point was. Basically instantly a dude was like, I must snap. I was hoping I was gonna be able to place them without changing my spawn point. Gosh, that would have been nice. Now let's go on a little hunt for some jailers and cages. On Sipta, you can find them on big areas, on big areas, in big areas, but also in some of the smaller places as well. So we won't discredit those, but they're also usually dressed in a Silent Legion or something called the Sipta equivalent. And they do stand out quite a bit because they're tall and they can be jailers without cages and cages without jailers. But that's not to say that all of this will go along those lines. And thus far, we don't seem to see any jailers or cages here at Skulker's End. I spy a cage. Um, I haven't discovered it on this playthrough. Cannot remember what it's called. What are we called? A link plateau. So there's a cage, but oh, there we go. Jailer right there. No wearing fancy gear but he is gigantor kill him they're usually pretty easy even in the harder areas good at ourselves our key well i'm assuming they're gonna be wearing whatever armor they wear in the area and we'll see who we get here now if this is crafters as well blacksmith three defending when attacking okay so you're likely gonna have to run them home or have teleporters around from sorcery or hopefully map rooms and I guess bring some spare stuff when you're going out hunting because that could be sad if they died instantly. Like, that's a really easy way to get up thralls. I'm going to get him to stop following at my base. And I should probably replace him. Can I even do that? Moving guard, yeah. So he doesn't, for some reason, revert back to over there. Oh, and I spy another cage. I haven't even gone to really any of the big places and been finding. I'm assuming the big places will have more cages, potentially. Or just opposite the Tower of the Bats. Kind of making my way along the desert at the cursed way. Your Kai Priest, Jailer. And whether all of these guys will instantly attack this guy. Yeah, so they already want to like attack my guy. So you definitely <laughs> can revive him and uh, follow, but everyone's just gonna go ham on him again. <laughs> you can do that a couple of times if you didn't know. I think it's like three times. Oh, he's got the little bar around him. So I would essentially kill these guys first so i could escape with old mate if i so wanted i'll keep trying your luck a loot bag i'll just leave him to die that spot again is just here and another cage argus stand i'm assuming you wouldn't have to kill uh like you wouldn't have to get the one at the place you can use the keys anywhere and these guys no longer drop skulls so you can't gather them up for next time like you could last time we'll see who we got oh tier one smelter your garden so you do really have to try and get them home and the summoning place predictably does have at least one right here just her does seem to be empty currently so don't waste your key if it is empty it does mean one has not spawned in there this is a great place to come get dudes usually oh neat sorcery while i'm here i will test out whether the daggers still work It is with this kind of build I have no agility and no authority. Seems like a good time to test out. That's still got a bunch of time in there. I wonder if the Taskmaster periodically comes and like hangs out here. It does appear we've got another cage up by where you learn the recipe for salt pork. I don't seem to see... Oh, there's the jailer just sitting down. Is there only one jailer? Or is the other jailer chilling over there too? I've been having great luck with finding these guys lately, but... 
Betty won't have the witch doctor mask. No mask. Sorcery. I'm pretty sure that was all the sorcerers up there too. So yeah, you kind of have a choice here. Or you get to farm keys somewhere else. But I dare say we're going to want to spend those keys in higher grade areas. I found another one over at Death Whisper Camp. With our jailer chilling right here. Oh, they dropped some better stuff that time. And who are you? Pretty sure. That's to appear to be quite consistently little one cages at every now and then these type of places like bone breaker bend oh jailer's right here we've only seen one empty cage so far so not sure if uh that's always empty oh we got a barkeeper oh, that's kind of handy so <laughs> we're gonna have to do that purge for that run barkeeper he has pretty decent hp so you actually have a chance of getting him home and not insta dying turns out there's a lot more of them than i was anticipating we got another one at lookout point Where's our trailer? Just here. So I'm definitely going to have to make a separate little beta test video on the location of all these guys. Because that's a lot to go into. We'll have a little cruise up north and maybe a little bit in the jungle. So far I've only found one over at the pirate ship. I was about halfway up. Pretty girl. Just her. Drunkard. Where's our trailer? Maybe we could goddamn any one of these guys. There we are. Dancing like a dancer. And it does look like random events are back rather than um the great hunt. I can't guarantee this is going to stay the same but i'll have to go around and potentially do a couple of videos on the locations and how to do them get some pretty decent resources quite laggy though for servers maybe they've optimized it who knows you know honestly i was expecting to see more around the pirate places because you know pirates and all of that none over there nope but i at least did manage to find it too we got one down here jailer right next to it pretty dang convenient and at least one up over here jailer also right next to it I fully thought I'd find a couple more here. A little bit disappointed. That is the Black Galleon location, in case you're in unfamiliar. We're finding a lot of named sorcerers. And it does still look like we can get a consistent katana at Almaria. Uh, pick up our Musashi's Black Blade. I was also kind of anticipating um, some cages about in here, but apparently not so far. Yeah, apparently nothing that I can see immediately. It does look like you can still pick up Dragon Powder too. Jars. To be honest, I expected to find a few more in the north, but also to be fair, there's not as many villages in the north. But we did find one at Mounds of the Dead so far. We found one over at the Black Towers. We found two over in New Asgard and one over at Leon's Watch. I do believe there's also one down at the Den. I'm sure there's probably a couple more scattered about. And like I said, I will do a full guide detailing exact locations of all of them. And I'll go explore up in the volcano about all of that too. I reckon we should have a head over to Raya's Hovel and see what all of that is about. Oh, haven't things changed here? We've got bellowing black smoke and Freya doing a bit of a squat. The blacksmith Barry is nowhere to be seen, which, you know, can be other dudes as well, but I usually find it to be Barry. Oh, no longer a blacksmith spawn. This box is not real. We love that. Oh, the wolf is dead. Oh, that's a bit saddy pants. We're on a murder spree. Okay, let's see what the all this is about. Dream. Okay. I do want to know what happened here. Not Angava. So she's just going to sing sad songs? I roam around the land looking for people to help. I'm bored and need something to do. I assume that if I help you get your man back, I'll get some kind of reward. Well, roaming the land's helping people is kind of what I do. Let's face it. Okay. Search the bodies. I said search the bodies. Okay. Let's exit creative mode. Is it working? You found nothing. Go on. Goodbye. Maybe not these bodies. Maybe I have to search the wolf's bodies. Oh, Jekyll, but eh. I also kind of thought I would get a bit of a an actual quest thing. Or like something that would pop up in the journey steps or something so I could see what the heck was happening. Because sure as shit, if I started this and logged off and didn't come back for two days, I would not know what I meant to do. And in fact, I already... I'm not 100% sure what I meant to be doing. Oh no. We might have to go play with Lufe. I swear, it's so dumb. Ended up coming out two days earlier than what they said and it's still not doing the thing. Might be a me problem, but that's crazy. We're at the new spot and we're gonna see if we can do anything here. Lufe's magic circle. Well, I guess he just rambles at us for a bit. I just gain corruption. Puke soft plant. If you don't want any spoilers, probably skip past these sections. Next <laughs> We need sacrificial blood. We just spawned it in. Okay, so what do you want from me now? Away, monkey. I'm trying to do stuff. Yes. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But I don't know what we do now. I guess neither of them are working properly. I'll have to try and make a guide on them at some point. But companions are not so much in the tests for today. But as I alluded to earlier, we've got a bit of a change back with some farming. And that is crystal. We can now harvest the big crystals with a pick again. Because why they decided that was a thing to change, I don't know. But they act like it was just an unintentional little mistake. Even though they fully put it in the patch notes. You can't pick those ones. But I can pick that. Look out. No little ones. I can't get a big one. It's pretty huge. Well, this has been my first little look at the Age of Heroes. I will be doing deep dives into the companions, the whole new living settlement thing and see how we can avoid them opening up doors and whatnot. And of course a detailed guide on all of those cage locations so you can very easily get yourself up some followers now. And where might be the better places to actually acquire them from. Because I already have a couple of strats that I used to utilize when I played Sipta which I'm sure will come in very handy. Yeah. So keep your eyes peeled for that and we'll also be doing a bit of a deep dive into the new slash old random encounter events, some of those locations and how to actually do them. But I hope this has been slightly insightful as to some of the things that they will be changing. So far nothing super heinous and broken that I have discovered but I'll get back to you. And the living co settlement concept is definitely interesting so far and not quite as bad as I was anticipating which is nice. So stick around for some of those features or check out one of my guides on Conan Exiles. If you found this informative smash that like button and until next time I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. I'm gonna go on an adventure for some more cages. Have a good one.